All right, so in this problem, I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. So to start, I'm going to first start by expanding x minus y squared. So now I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. So now these two x squared cancel out if I subtract x squared on both sides. So now I have negative y squared is equal to negative 2xy plus y squared. And now I'm going to add y squared on both sides and add 2xy on both sides. These two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I have 2xy is equal to 2y squared. Now I'm going to subtract 2y squared on both sides. These two cancel out, and I get 2xy minus 2y squared is equal to 0. Now I can factor out 2y. So now I have 2y times x minus y is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have 2y is equal to 0, and I also have x minus y is equal to 0. So for 2y equals 0, this means that y is equal to 0. And if x minus y equals 0, this means that x is equal to y. And remember, y equals 0, so x is also equal to 0. So both of these variables are equal to 0. Now, I have another method of solving this. I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. So now, I'm going to rewrite x squared minus y squared as x plus y times x minus y. And now, I'm going to divide both sides by x minus y. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with x plus y is equal to x minus y. Now, I have x plus y equals x minus y, and I can cancel these two x's out. So now I have y is equal to negative y, meaning 2y is equal to 0, and y is equal to 0. So again, I get y equals 0. So now to check, I have x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y squared. If both of these are equal to 0, then I have 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 minus 0 squared, meaning 0 equals 0. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 7. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 7 as 4 plus 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y is equal to 4 plus 3, and 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. Yeah, 2 squared. So now, I'm going to subtract 2 squared on both sides and add 3 to the power of y on both sides. So then, these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I'm left with 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared is equal to 3 to the power of y plus 3. Now from here, from 2 to the power of x minus 2 squared, I'm going to factor out 2 squared. So now I have 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to, from this, I'm going to factor out 3. So now I have 3 times 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus x minus 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of x. So now I have 3 times 3 to the power of y minus 1. 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. This is equal to 3 to the power of 1 plus y minus 1 which is equal to 3 to the power of y. So 
So now, if you notice here, I have 2 squared times 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3 times y, 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. Well, 2 squared, this is going to be an even number, right? And 3, this is an odd number. Now, 2 to the power of x minus 2, well, 2 to the power of any number is even, and an even number minus 1 is odd. And 3 to the power of any number is odd, and an odd number plus 1 is even. So I have an even number times an odd number is equal to an odd number times an even number. Meaning these two odd numbers are equal to each other and these two even numbers equal to each other. So I have 2 squared is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. And I also have 2 to the power of x minus 1. Or sorry, 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 is equal to... So these are my two equations. So let's first go ahead and solve this first one. So I have 2 squared, which is the same thing as 4. So I have 4 is equal to 1 plus 3 to the power of y minus 1. Now if I subtract 1 on both sides, I get 3 is equal to 3 to the power of y minus 1. And we want 3, to, 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. And since these two bases are the same, this means that y is equal to y minus 1, meaning y is equal to 2. Now, for my second equation, I have 2 to the power of x minus 2 minus 1 equals 3, meaning 2 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 4, and x is equal to 4. So x equals 4 and y equals 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 40. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking log on both sides. So now I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 40. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 4 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 4 is equal to log 40. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 4. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log of 40 over log 4. Now, log 40, this is the same thing as log of 4 times 10 is log 40, 40 is equal to 4 times 10. So I have this over log 4. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 4 times 10. So this is equal to log 4 plus log 10. And now I have this over log 4. Now log 4 plus log 10 over log 4, this is the same thing as log 4 over log 4 plus log 10 over log 4. And log 4 and log 4, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 4. So now log 10, this is the same thing as 1. Log 10 is equal to 1. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 4. And log 4 is equal to 0 0.602. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 0.602, which is equal to 1 plus 
1.66, meaning x is equal to 2.66.